Welcome to our channel everyone. My name is Aman. I am a regulated Canadian immigration consultant. Today we're making a very important video for you guys. Um, one of our clients who are based out in India, they have a wonderful startup company. We just received a letter of support for that company from a Canadian uh, designated organization, a business incubator. And today's video, we're going to do an interview with one of the directors of the company who is going to explain you the process and how uh, we work together with them to successfully get them a letter of support. Uh, by the end of the video, you're going to realize uh, the information and the steps you need to take uh, to start your process and the things which you should and should not be doing. So if you're excited to hear uh, directly from one of the directors uh, himself, Stay tuned with us because we got lots of wonderful information uh, about the Startup Visa program in this video. Uh, thank you very much, Samir Joshi ji. Uh, first of all, um, you uh, giving me the time to record this video. It's really appreciated because uh, this is definitely going to help a lot of people who are uh, in a situation where they want to apply for the program, but um, they, are, they are not sure on how and um, how to approach it and who's going to help them with it, right? Right, and right. right. And tell me a little bit about yourself and uh, what was your previous experience before you uh, joined the startup group and uh, what's your experience with the startup group? Okay, so uh, basically I'm a working professional. Uh, I'm working in a bank in India uh, over here and uh, I've been constantly working in banking industry. So I've got my finance background as such and uh, we, uh, the group of people we got together for this startup idea and our experience has been completely very smooth and it has been totally uh, any flawless uh, totally flawless from end to end perfect so so, so you in your finance experience what's your uh, highest education uh, my highest education is a postgraduate diploma which i have acquired in the mand uh, in the field of financial management financial. from an institute in delhi the, re the reason I'm asking these questions is because I want people to know that when you apply for a startup visa, how your education, how important your education is. Because if you do not have experience in managing uh, the department you're going to be managing in your startup company, that becomes a problem. For example, you have been active in the finance department for uh, it's uh, how long? 10, 10 15 years? Uh, yeah, almost 18 years now. About 18 years, right? And what is your role with the, the startup company? Yeah, I am going to play a role of a CFO. CFO. Uh, exactly. Yeah, CFO because, is uh, Chief Financial Officer perfect. of the startup. So, so in, it actually relates to your previous experience, right? So that is the point I wanted to establish that if you are if you are starting a business and you do not have experience in the, the job role or your role in the startup which you are doing, it has to match. If it doesn't match, it becomes a problem with the RCC and even the business incubators. That's correct. That's correct. Right? And I forgot to congratulate you on uh, on a letter of support. And I, I know it's been a, a long time coming. We had a, a lot of uh, hard work behind it. And finally, yes. seeing that letter, it's a, so it is a wonderful uh, thing to see, right? No, no, thanks. Thanks to you, uh, Aman, for your uh, you know patience and, uh, you know, all, uh, I think, all meticulous work and the documentation part. So there was no chance that it could go wrong. Absolutely. So thanks a lot for that. So th that is the idea behind it. I always say it's a team job because not a single person can um, make anything successful, right? And you have to have the right people around you. And I'm fortunate that uh, we met and uh, the, the the work you did, all I did at the end of the day was to make sure it's presentable to the, the business incubator who's looking at it, right? Because every business incubator, they want the different information and they have their own different formats, right? So if we present it uh, in a way they like, it, the process becomes easier, right? And so it's a less of a back and forth. Um, so let's speak about the company, Funshave, right? Um, yeah. The the idea uh, about the company, because uh, in a startup program, the idea has to be innovative, right? Do you want to describe what the, the main product you have and how it's innovative? Yeah, so Funshave, we are a product uh, design and a manufacturing company in the area of uh, wet shaving razors. So... Uh, I would say similar to uh, Gillette, but uh, we are more innovative. We are innovative in the sense that uh, we have introduced, uh, going to introduce a razor handle in the market, which is going to accommodate more than 40 plus brands of razor awesome. uh, blades, razor blades. Uh, so that's the one of the kind idea. Uh, one first one in the industry. Uh, 
across for the men and for men men and women both perfect so and that is the innovative section in your product and that's probably not the only product you're displaying and um, again uh, the the idea behind the whole startup program is that your product has to be innovative and it has to be something which can come to canada and become a scalable business right and we have properly demonstrated along with all the business documents right um and in in uh, the startup program uh, i know that we we have five uh, applicants right and and right. all five of them are experts in their own uh, on fields so along right. with you 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 have a, a director you have a, a marketing uh, manager with the experience about 10 years in marketing and then you have somebody in the research and development as well right so right. another important thing which again i want people to know is that when you apply for a startup visa uh, your business documents your business plan and your pitch deck plays the most important role because when we present anything to the the business incubator those are the documents they are going to see they are not going to meet you first they are not going to know that the, obviously there is no company in the, the the market so they don't really know that if the product is actually there and if it's actually making money so the business documents how difficult was it to uh, put together everything the way we wanted yeah i agree it was a long drawn process but uh, it was not difficult as such because i think your constant guidance you have uh, i must say i mean that you uh, articulated all the points which were supposed to be there in that document and the document was a key document which was supposed to be presented to the business incubator and from as you rightly said we are the i mean we are starting from the scratch so they would not know much about us so that document and those videos which we made uh, yeah, about yeah. the product the wonderful 5 so, minute videos exactly so so yeah, those five again, minute short videos yes. the point the point here is that um, the it doesn't matter what your company is doing it doesn't matter how good you are unless you have that information in a piece of paper which can be easily presented to somebody which is understandable and it can project the idea that what you are trying to do and project the actual scope of the business it's not going to work right, right. so that is the the thing the whole team worked wonderfully put all the information together and eventually we got what uh, we were looking for right and now we are halfway through the next process is to uh, do our permanent residency application which will be applying in uh, the, the matter of next few weeks absolutely uh, absolutely i'll the other thing which was important during the whole process was the uh, the presentations and i remember we did two different presentations one in front of the business incubators and one they had the external panels what do you feel about those presentation was it any difficult was it something which was out of the ordinary uh, no i would say it was just about presenting ourselves in the best of the capacity what do we do who we are how do we um, how do we what are what is our idea and uh, how do we plan to scale up the business Perfect. so there are few things which they are interested in and you have to serve those things on the platter and yeah. i think it was not something very difficult it could have it can easily be man- easily be managed once you have the right business document the business plan then extract of that business plan put in a very small concise piece which is a pitch deck which is going to be Absolutely. probably like 10 to 15 pages of slides so no more than like 15 minutes to present it if you cannot present your business idea in 15 minutes it becomes a very difficult uh, thing for anybody to support if you take it to angel investors or if you take it to business incubator obviously they they see thousands of ideas every day so for Absolutely. them to to f- see an idea and understand it and support it it has to be presented in the right way so besides the uh, the business plan the second important document is the pitch deck right so right. once we passed those two stages when we did the the pres- the initial document submission then we did the pitch deck then we do a due diligence documents where we submitted everything we had for the company and the last stage was um, speaking to some external people from the industry it was a similar conversation which was more of a back and forth than they asked questions and wonderfully answered by the team um, those right. three stages if done right uh, there is no stopping anybody from uh, doing the uh, uh, getting the letter of support right? right and and i believe the next stage which is even more important is that after we apply for your permanent residency the ircc's requirement is that uh, you need to be actively participating in the Uh, operation of the business right and we have to make sure that moving forward whatever we do in the business is properly well documented 
because by the time IRCC is going to, uh, to give the permanent residencies to you, they're going to do an investigation and they're going to probably do certain interviews with the, the business incubator as well to see what the company has been doing. So at that point of time, we can demonstrate that we had this business plan and we are probably like 60, 70 or even 80 percent up to speed on the business plan, then there is not going to be any problem, right? So that is the whole process so far of getting the letter of support. What was your overall experience with the process? Yeah, overall experience has been superb. Uh, the best part was the guidance. So the guidance on every step was provided. I think that's the right guidance actually will help us in getting the right documents and those right information to them. There's nothing more to it actually. Absolutely. It's just paperwork and the being presenting the right information. And again, uh, it was not just me, the whole team supported properly and uh, provided the right information at the right time. And we were able to, to get that point across. Right. And, and hopefully by watching this video, a lot of other people who want to, to uh, come to Canada under the startup program, they'll have a little bit of a guidance on, on what is exactly the right steps to do, because there are about uh, 40 something uh, business incubators and everybody works differently, right? And if you sometimes you appro approach them directly, they won't even entertain. They won't even entertain the idea because as I said that they have thousands and thousands of emails going to them every day. And uh, you have to shine through in one way or the other. You have to have some kind of a contact to at least initiate the conversation so that uh, we can take it to the next stage, right? So how excited are you about uh, running this business in Canada? Because I know I have the product that I, I like it. Uh, I haven't, I, I don't do uh, full shape, so I don't use it for the 100% the, the of time, but I love the idea of having that freedom of using like 40 different uh, razor blades. Like wherever I go, I can choose, pick, pick and choose whichever I want. Yeah, so there's a huge market potential actually, 65 billion, uh, it was a valued in 2019 the yeah. grooming industry, male grooming industry. So you can imagine like the way to go is super, I mean, this is sky high you can go to. So I'm super excited. This model is something very new. We are going to launch in the market, uh, pan, pan globe. So yeah, I'm yeah. sure of this. Oh, I can, I can see your company um, going to the heights very soon. You're, you're doing all the right things. You're ready with your marketing. You're ready with your products. You even have people uh, from US who are your marketing ambassadors. Hopefully 2022 is going to be an awesome year for you wherein you can um, actually knock on the doors of the suppliers and distributors in Canada and US and even attend uh, a lot of uh, good uh, trade shows where you could get more recognition about the product. I have no doubt about the, the social media marketing you're going to be doing. So I am, I'm pretty happy that I, I worked with you guys and I'm going to be even more happier when I see this, uh, this product on the shelves at the, uh, the shoppers or Walmart or Sobeys or yeah, all of I'm these places sure. nearby. Yeah. Right? So that's so, what is going to come for sure. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely. I think it's probably going to be before the end of 2022 or later, early 2023. I'm expecting to see this product in the market. Yeah, yeah super excited to be there. Yeah. So, so that was all the questions I had um, about this pro process. And thank you very much again for um, giving your time. And I know that you're uh, running late for your job. Uh, it's no, early, in, early in the, the morning in India and it's almost late at night for me in Canada. So thank you very much for your time, Sumir. And uh, awesome. we, will, we will work together uh, very soon. And when you come to Canada, we're going to have a, a lot of fun here together. Yeah, yeah. look forward to that. <laughs> thank awesome. you. Well, there you have it. So you have uh, listened from one of the directors himself and I hope uh, you get the information you were looking for. And if you are also in a process of doing a startup visa application or you have uh, an idea which you want to build uh, towards the startup visa program, reach out to our team. We'll be more than happy to uh, speak with you, see what is the, the steps which you should be taking, where in the process you are and figure out ways to actually make this process smoother for you and get you in touch with the right designated organizations. Uh, to reach out to us, you can uh, go in uh, to our website. The information is in the description section down below. Also, my email address or the company email address in the description section as well. Uh, send us an email or uh, go to our website and initiate uh, a contact re uh, request from there. And we will be definitely getting back to you. 
Uh, in the meantime, if you like the, the contents of the video, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and share it with uh, your friends or family member who are actually thinking about start a visa program. Uh, we'll be definitely happy to help you out in this program as well. Having said that, thank you very much for watching this video and stay safe, please.